Morning, fam. Get me a nice cool beverage. Um, I'm out on our uh, patio. I'm gonna put. I might put the smoker over there. See, we got a table there, and I'll scoot it over, and then probably put the smoker over there so the smoke goes out that way. We'll see. I'm pretty um, happy that Charlie's coming back and I think he's going to stay a bit. And I'm going to try to see the up there. There's a place to hook up a TV. I think I'm going to put the treadmill up here so I can do that. Today, Lily and I got in the pool today and Michael came out and was saying, we're living large, aren't we? Because he, he, he's never lived in a house this big. I've never lived in a house this big. I think, I think my dad's house might be this big. I'm not sure. It's pretty big. Uh, he's got two bars. This has got two bars, too. One inside, one outside. His is kind of useless, but the... The kitchen here is infinitely bigger, and I'm hoping um, the nice thing about being in Asia is that all the appliances are much, much cheaper. Like a thousand dollar refrigerator in uh, the USA is 400 bucks here. Now, they don't make sub-zeros here. Those are like my preference, what I would like to have. But they've got some other stuff that's really good. And right now in Thailand, I don't know, it's like the king's birthday or king celebration or something. It's like a big uh, sale or whatever. So I'm going to try to see if we can't get two refrigerators that are exactly the same and they're the four door pull out kind because I don't I don't care about all that uh, TV screen shit and uh, I mean if we wanted a TV in the kitchen we can put it there the kitchen is enormous and uh I, I like having room, and the nice thing about having, you know, uh, kitchens right, or, or uh, refrigerators right at the entrance to the kitchen is that nobody's in your way when you're trying to, when you're cooking, so that's a nice thing. I've got some uh, other stuff to order, some cutting boards. I don't like using uh, the plastic ones anymore because we get too much too much microplastics and other shit and um, I'm one of the things I'm deathly afraid of is uh, Alzheimer's disease come on Paquito uh, Peepee was out today playing there's there's the other one there's that uh, we call him Botox. His real name is Botas, which is means boots, but we've called him Botox, and that's his brother. So, uh, yeah, we have it here, and we're gonna see these this uh, tree here and that tree. We're probably gonna get them tossed and see if we can't get us a mango tree and a durian. Uh, durian, I don't know how to, to, to describe to you. It's the most expensive fruit, each durian, even in Thailand. A decent-sized durian is 40 bucks, and the Chinese are absolutely, you cannot purchase, there, you could open up a hundred thousand acres right now of durian trees and you would not go broke at all 
you would be able to use them. It has a, and the, they stink. They don't smell good, like something you want to eat, but the, uh, the fruit is real creamy, and uh, Thai people absolutely love it. It's like crack, and I'm not a fan, but if you haven't had it, it might be something that you like. I mean, it's not it, It's not that I, I'm just kind of blah about it. I'd much rather have pineapples, the pineapples from here, or orange juice, and everything is so much better when it's not pasteurized. And uh, I've been thinking today, I was uh, lying in the pool, I, I bought a... Uh, uh, thing to hang my TV on and installed it so it kind of aggravated my back and as soon as I put it up I noticed my TV going a little bit crooked I installed it correctly I assure you but it's Chinese so it's a piece of shit and uh, yeah it's you need some thicker metal for for stuff like that <clears throat> so don't try to be cheap about it like I did. And I just thought, well, I'll try those out of it. Because the ones, I got one for about 10 bucks, and it was worth every, it wasn't worth a dime. It was an absolute piece of shit. But um, you know, just like you all, I'm, I feel a bit lost. Like I've lost my bearings because, um, well, uh, things aren't going to go so well for the next two years. And I'm glad I'm here. <clears throat> now, the good thing is, I don't know what happened yesterday. Uh, some asshole has, uh, keeps reporting me for bullshit. I don't know if somebody's reporting me. I don't know. I frankly don't give a shit anymore. Because the important stuff I'm going to say is on Patreon. I'm not going to do work for Zuckerberg like that anymore. And um, in this area where I'm at, there's, uh, let's see, there's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, I think seven villas here that are all about the same size as this house. Now, the one across the street was built 10 years ago by a Thai guy, and he's never lived in it. It's never been lived in. So it's a brand new house. It's never been lived in. And uh, we are going to do everything we can to buy all of them because the prices are really good and uh, I'm afraid to say anything because they said something about uh, me trying to sell something some kind of scam or some shit it's none of that uh, so I'm not going to talk about that but on Patreon on Patreon, you can do that. And if they're pissed off at me about that, well, I'm sorry, you Facebook fuckers, but I pay for two meta-verified accounts, and you all have never helped me one single time. You suspended me two months before the election, the most important time. Not that I think that I could have swung anything, and actually it kind of... It kind of... Uh, well... It did piss me off, but I wanted to chastise people because we are all, uh, besides the shock of losing, we are all fucked up in the brain. We're all fucked up in the brain. And, uh, and to see the evidence of it, all you have to do is go watch that morning Joe uh, sucking up to Trump 
And if you watch MSNBC ever again, I, I, I think very low of you. Uh, we have to have some standards. And we have to stand for something that's different than the Republicans. And this is the thing, I mean, I knew this back in 2016. And it made me so fucking angry. Because back in 2016, I did donate to Bernie twice when I couldn't afford to. And it's not that I like Bernie. I, I really despise him now. And uh, I despise Hillary too because they're, they have blind spots just like Joe Biden has blind spots and Kamala has blind spots. And I want us to start seeing everything so that we can distinguish ourselves from the normal, uh, from Republicans. Because back in 2016, the thing that upset me the most, and I knew this then, and it's part of the reason why I'm here now, is I knew that that Citizens United, once that rich people figured out that they could donate as much money anonymously as whatever, that they would own Democrats as easily as they do Republicans. Uh, yeah. where uh, corporate America finances the Democrats more, the Russians are financing, the Russians and the Israelis are financing Republicans. And it, it's a great irony that we're giving so much money to Israel when they turn right around and use the money that we give them to lobby ourselves so that they get more money. Joe Biden gave them what was it? 26 billion, I think, uh, to murder more kids. And a lot of you all chastised me and gave Nene a bunch of shit. I've got some dipshit uh, on uh, my roommate Michael's profile. He made a comment, and I was arguing with him, and he thinks I'm an anti Semite. And I, I was pissed off because he doesn't understand the difference between an anti-Semite and an anti-Zionist. And if you don't know the difference, you're fucking stupid. And he also failed to mention that I'm also anti-Catholic, anti-Mormon, anti-Scientologist, uh, and anti-every fucking religion there is. Uh, they're all fucking stupid. And if you're afflicted with it, um, you're f fucking stupid too. And that's the thing about it is because, you know, I was watching this, uh, thing a long time ago about Christopher Hitchens. And one of the things that the guy, well, I'll bring up two things now that I'm thinking about it. One of the things is, well, what, what's wrong with hedging our bets? If we're wrong, then we won't know about it anyway. And if we're right, then we get to go to heaven. And uh, Hitchens made the point that, well, if I get up there, wouldn't it be infinitely better to go up as a non-hypocrite than it is to be whatever form of religion you've accepted and haven't lived up to the standards of? And I personally don't give a shit. I think that I'm going to return to the exact state I was in before my mother birthed me. And that's all there is to it. He both talks. And uh, that's it. That doesn't frighten me. And the thing about it is, is that uh, when you fail to accept that truth, you're not living an authentic life. And the reason why that's important is because it's easier to lie to you. It's easier to get you, get you to believe bullshit. And that's why Republicans are so, were so wildly successful this time. Uh, Joe Biden, we didn't want to say anything. I lost two or three friends that I considered lifelong friends that I would 
uh, thought a lot of, uh, an immense amount of. I, I thought the world of them, actually. And because I criticized Joe Biden, they just didn't, they thought, oh, well, if you're criticizing Biden, that's bad news. Uh, no, see, we've got to have this thing called principles. And if you're okay with uh, our side committing genocide, which is exactly what Netanyahu is doing, I don't give a fuck that he's a Jew. I don't give a fuck about if you all are Jews or I don't give a shit about that. I want murder, mass murder of innocent people uh, and they are innocent. I don't want to hear anybody's stupid shit like, well, they're the ones that attacked. Well, you don't know what was going on. And uh, you're too stupid. You don't know enough about history to know what was going on to understand that, you know, uh, the uh, people who are being occupied are always uh, the victims. And history has proven, as Mr. Young said, the victims always become the victimizers. And that's what we're seeing with Israel now. Although they did get a rather rude awakening when they tried to go into Lebanon. Um, they Things didn't go too well for the IDF. They were a little too uh, arrogant, I think. And uh, they got their asses... They didn't get their asses beat. They, they were... Uh, that was a ass whipping like uh, an NBA team playing in elementary school. And um, the thing that sucks is that I hate about Joe Biden. Well, one of the things that he could have done differently was he could have reestablished that Iran deal. And he didn't do it. Trump canceled it, and he and Barack Obama worked hard on it. And you know, that was a smart thing to do. And um, uh, Joe Biden didn't understand why it was because to Joe Biden, he uh, and to baby boomers in gen in general, uh, nuclear weapons are an abstract. It's an abstract idea. Well, it ended World War II. Uh, when we dropped those two bombs on uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima, we don't want to talk about this, but what we actually did was uh, a war crime. Dropping those bombs on them, uh, the Japanese were completely defeated. Uh, they were whipped. And the problem was is that we had a... a you may not know this, but one of the things that we had a problem with was negotiating with the emperor of Japan. And the interpreter for the emperor of Japan was not as fluent in English as he needed to be. And he said, we may want to surrender. Well, may? You want a may? Well, we're going to fix that may shit right quick. Because surrender was never a part of the Japanese vocabulary. It was, you could not translate it. So what happened? Well, we dropped a plutonium bomb on them. And uh, these are things that we have to talk about because we're a different generation. And we have to accept certain truths. And one of the truths that we have done we are a nation of we're a genocidal nation and one of the great crimes that we have committed uh, against our fellow man is overthrowing the democratically elected leader of Iran uh and installing the Shah. We committed a crime against the people of Iran who were our allies until then. And we did it for British Petroleum. 
and we've been paying for the price. And the thing that pisses me off is people like Joe Biden and every fucking dumbass in Congress now. Jamie Ratskin isn't a dumbass, but I don't think he's as uh, well-versed in history as he needs to be. So I wouldn't call him a dumbass. Pretty much the rest of, uh, I'm trying to think if there's a United States senator that, that isn't a complete imbecile like Chuck Schumer is an absolute imbecile. Uh, I really hope he retires, but... Anyway, uh, we've been paying for that for over 50 years, 60 years, whenever we installed the Shah. And the Iranian, and that gave the, uh, the right-wing lunatics, religious nuts in Iran, the power to overthrow their government and make us the enemy. When we shouldn't be making enemies, we should be making allies. And that's one of the flaws of uh, American, uh, the Pentagon, the CIA, uh, the NSA, is that we have a groupthink problem. And this is true of Democrats especially right now. Because if you say anything like Joe Biden saying dumb shit and not addressing this uh, genocide that's happening in Gaza and him saying stupid shit like you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist and I am a Zionist. Arguably, I, I think that is the dumbest thing ever to come out of a president's mouth. And he could have been a very consequent. He could have been as big as uh, uh, an, an, an effectual uh, president as Franklin Delano Roosevelt, if he hadn't surrounded himself with a bunch of dumbasses like Anthony Blinken, who I despise and sincerely hope he gets cancer, uh, ass cancer at that, and dies a very miserable death. There's about five other people. Uh, I feel the same about Merrick Garland. So, uh, baby, what you doing, my sweetie? Look at this. Maybe. Well, you just don't get to see good stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm going to go tell Lily that PP is out, just in case she doesn't know. But uh, we had some big problems. We had some big flaws, and we couldn't talk about them. Because anybody that did, that APP's out, I don't know if you know. Why she's out. I don't know why she's out. I don't know how she got out. But, uh, we eat. We stay out, baby. the most important okay. thing that we have to do with ourselves is we have to tell the truth. Because if we start lying to each other, or lying by omission, not talking about the things that we need to talk about. First of all, the first thing that we need to recognize is that BB Netanyahu did not want Joe Biden to win. And we keep acting like Israel is our ally. Israel is not our ally. They never have been. Allies do not kill our citizens. And Israel has done this many, many times, including tried to assassinate Harry S. Truman. You may not know that, but that's true. The Zionists did try to assassinate Harry S. Truman. Uh, they killed 43 sailors on the USS Liberty. You may not know that either. They shot uh, Shireen al Akba, who was an American citizen, killed her, shot her in the head. And we just let them get away with anything. And uh, APAC and uh, the ADL, that uh, Greenblatt, uh, Greenblatt asshole brags that he controls social media. I have no doubt that he does. Whenever I talk about it, I get some kind of suspension. I fully expect to get suspended again. 
uh, for unknown reasons for just talking about this shit because we've gotten to the to the point <clears throat> where we're going to have to change the way we think about everything and uh, I know how difficult that is uh, when I was uh, going through my my cathartic change when I was reading psychology books uh I started reading them, reading psychology because my father said, I never want a psychological eye turned on me. And so being the impudent son that I am, I had to understand why, why he was afraid of having a psychological eye. <clears throat> but as you go through these things, as you work your way through psychology, one of the things that you have to do, like if you're going to become a therapist, for instance, and I read all of these books is you have to go through what they call dissecting your personality. A lot of people will say dissect and it's not dissect, it's dissect. Um, you have to dissect your personality and I started doing that and I was 27 when I started doing it. And uh, I, I, look, I saw things about myself that I didn't like a lot. I was a an amalgamation of my father. I had a lot of his character flaws and my grandfather. And that's the first thing you need to do you, to be honest with yourself. So if you're thinking, well, I don't even know what to do, dissect your personality. Be open to the idea of change. Put new ideas in your head. Uh, I don't know how much good it's going to do because I'm extremely concerned about people working on self-development when, uh, you know, uh, Nazi is about to take control of the United States. And, you know, don't think that you're immune from this. Uh, one of the more disgusting things that I saw during this campaign was that Americans, 70% of Americans believe that we have an immigration problem. Well, 70% of Americans, if you're one of them, you don't understand the problem at all. You, you don't have a foundational understanding of it in any way. You're an ignoramus because we don't have an immigration problem at all in the United States. What we have is a stupid problem. And the problem with being stupid is that you can't see all of the cascading effects. And I'll go through this briefly, okay, just for shits and giggles. But uh, whenever the population growth of a country dips below 4%, you can't replace your workforce you are losing uh, people. You are unable to uh, resupply your workforce because you're not having enough children. So what do you have to do to augment that? Well, first of all, address the problem. Why is our, why, uh, is our population growth below 4%? It's actually below 3%, it's 2.8% in the United States. Why is it that way? Well, it's because of Republicans. Republicans alone, there's infinite stupidity. And uh, they think that because uh, it's a good idea to give loans, and I had to pay loans back and all this other dumb shit. It's like arguing with morons who think that what, well, Joe Biden had classified information, and, and that's what Trump did. There's a fucking difference between classified information and top-secret compartmentalized data. And morons don't understand this. Trump had the crown jewels that he intended to sell. He was going to profit from it, and I have no doubt that he's going to do it again. And... The CIA, one, one of the first things that you all have forgotten, I'm sure, but one of the first things that we did is we had an agent working for the CIA that was sending us the 
photographs of what of the material that was on Vladimir Putin's desk, okay? That's how high an agent we have. And as soon as Trump became president and the CIA understood how loose lips sink ships, they evacuated this guy, the pr most prized agent we ever had. We had to bring in because of Donald Trump's stupidity. So anyway, uh, when your population growth is 2.8%, you need immigrants, and a lot of them, because there's 338 million Americans, and all of these Mexicans and people that contribute uh, into our taxes and our economy, they don't get anything back out of it. And that's done deliberately, because, uh, and I love that they're, uh, like, the orange, the orange grove owners are getting it right in the ass right now because they can't hire uh, immigrants because of their stu stupid governor and their stupid legislature. They made a draconian law that says if you're an illegal a a immigrant, we're going to deport you back to your country of origin no matter what. Well, the two things that that did was is it instantly killed all of the uh, fruit, the orange production killed all that. Everybody that's not mechanized, which most of them aren't, you still have to have uh, workers putting uh, the oranges inside the boxes to ship off and make orange juice or whatever. And it killed the uh, construction industry in Florida immediately. So immigrants know to stay the fuck away from Florida. Well, you shot yourself in the foot. And Trump's talking about all this dumb shit like he's going to deport all these illegal aliens and everything. Well, how's that going to work? Are you going to deport? And he's only talking about the Mexicans, the South Americans. And how rich is that? Because uh, this... You know, this skin right here is not native to the United States. The United States is not native to the United States. This land belonged to other people that we murdered and uh, who's their descendants fleeing the murderous regime with people with white skin like mine fled for their lives to get away from uh, murderous bastards like Andrew Jackson, who were trying to fulfill the manifest destiny. And we, these are things that we never talk about. We don't try to make right. We don't try to make anything right with Native Americans. We stole all their land, uh, this entire country, murdered them, made them walk the trail of tears. And we don't talk about that shit. Marlon Brando tried to doing that what in the 1970s, and look at and that woman that he sent out in her uh, Native American garb was booed off stage. John John Wayne nearly had a heart attack trying to attack that woman because he was such a lackadaisical piece of shit. And. Um, but anyway, Republicans keep making policies that make it more difficult for us to have children. So Native Amer uh, people coming in from South America are doing jobs that Americans don't want to do anyway. Uh, and I love that uh, these rich agribusiness farmers uh, who have benefited immensely from the slave labor, uh, slavery still exists in the United States. It's just in a different form. It's economic slavery. If you don't, uh, the, the immigrants of the United States don't get access to anything, okay? If a woman is raped and she's an illegal alien, she can't report the police because she's, a report, she's afraid to, if she tells the police, she's just gonna get deported. So she bites her lip, and all of these men, these coyotes that move them over, know this, and they rape them anyway. So there's all this crime and stuff that they don't get access to, and Republicans absolutely will not ever 
do anything uh, that will give a pathway to citizenship to anyone. Uh, they're not interested in that. And it's just endlessly amusing that Trump will not shut up about this when two of his three wives are immigrants. And uh, he's got how many, and how many of his children are anchor, anchor babies? All of them, except one. All of them except one. So he's got, what, five kids, six kids? And all of them are anchor babies. But we don't talk about that. But we need, desperately need to replace the workers uh, that we are losing because of Republican policy that's keeping us from doing it. And that's just one of the things that we have to get better at discussing amongst ourselves uh, and stop lying to ourselves. Okay, here, we're, here's one thing that we keep lying to each other about. Joe Biden was a good president. No, he wasn't. He's a goddamn terrible president. If you're examining the metrics of how the economy was and that unemployment, well, unemployment's the lowest it's been since the 1960s, you don't understand that that line of thinking you're only thinking that because of a capitalist system. You think that a capitalist system and that the things that you see that are beneficial to that system are beneficial to you. They're not. And if you think that Joe Biden was a good president, he wasn't. He, I, I, would, damn, I, I would damn well rate him damn close to Andrew Jackson. Trump's the worst, Andrew Jackson's second, and Joe Biden's about third, the third worst president, worse than Andrew, I know, I take that back, Andrew Johnson was fucking worse. Okay, I'd rate him about fourth. I would put him down as one of the worst presidents in history because he's aloof. He doesn't listen. He had an entire staff of uh, uh, Israelophiles and they allowed this genocide and uh, the Arabs didn't show up and vote. The Muslims didn't either. I didn't. I have a very uh, stringent code of conduct uh, as a gentleman and that conduct, and I can't tell you how hard it was for me not to vote. I did not vote. You wanna yell at me, you can. But I was not going to vote for somebody who uh, said something as stupid as Kamala did on The View and said she wouldn't do anything different than Joe Biden. You mean you wouldn't do anything to stop the murder of 35,000 children if you could? Fuck you, bitch. Uh, I wasn't voting for her. I wouldn't. Voting for her was like sla slapping uh, Janine in the face. I wouldn't do that. I care about her too much. So you want to have a you want to have a discussion about it. You want to be honest, because those are the things we have to be honest about. Uh, and you can't uh, make your friends your enemies. Uh, just like this fucking dipshit last night. Now you know if uh, Republicans were loading up uh, Jews into cattle cars. I would be the bastard there um, with a minigun shooting the bastards, okay? I would be actively participating in the murder of anybody doing shit like that. But that guy's too unfocused to confuse Zionism, which is an evil idea, ideology, with Judaism. My, all of my best teachers, all of my great teachers were Jews. And Ginsu the gay, you all see me fucking with him all the time. Well, I love Ginsu. He's gay as fuck. I don't care, but, you know. Uh, and he's Jewish, and his husband's Jewish. And I, I could not care less. Uh, religion is the problem. Uh, I hate all religion uh, equally. There's not one. But I, I, I hate Catholics the most, if, if I'm being perfectly honest. But uh, genocide doesn't, and me don't mix, especially when they're children 
that look exactly like uh, Janine's children. That bothers me. It bothered me enough not to vote. First time I haven't voted in my life. And, um, well, Trump's going to be, I don't want to hear that shit. Trump's going to be worse. Okay. How do you get worse than 35,000 dead children? See, that you're going to have to explain that to me. And I assure you that you don't have the intellectual capacity to try to uh, defeat me in that way. I'm right. And that's all there is about it. I think I heard a cow. Or I think I just heard a cow. Well, not a cow. Or they're all water buffalo here, but it was just kind of interesting. But um, anyway, uh, we've got a long, hard road to haul, and it's not going to be easy. Uh, if we're going to get back into uh, control, and that's going to take some hard work by all of us. You're going to have to uh, learn to uh, look in the mirror and say, well, why did I think that a genocide was okay? Why didn't I say anything? Why didn't I speak out about it? When other people are talking about Israel being our greatest ally in the Middle East, why am I just nodding my head in agreement with that? It's because you're afflicted with the mental infirmity of religion if you're going to be honest with yourself, if you're going to do that part of dissecting your personality, which is damn hard work, and because you have to be honest with yourself. Because really, I mean, I know this is hard to believe, but the worst kind of liar is the person that lies to themselves. Uh, because if you can't be tr honest with yourself, you can't be honest with anybody. And that's the problem I have with Republicans entirely. I've never met uh, an honest Republican in my life. I never will. Because you cannot be a Republican and be honest. I've met a few liberals that are honest. Uh, Charlie, painfully honest. My roommate Michael and Doug, ridiculously honest. Because... There are consequences to lies, and I'm hypersensitive. You, you'll see me sometimes. You'll think, God damn, Thomas really fucking lost his shit on that. I'm going to tell you why I lost my shit, because I've been put in fucking jail because my sister lied. So it's a really sore and s sensitive subject because I got beat up in jail, got all my teeth knocked out, and um, if... I catch people lying about me, like this little fucking shithead. I'm not even going to mention his name because uh, he's done fucked up. But uh, there was a little Facebook warrior that thinks he's fucking something. He's going to get a fucking rude lesson that he's not. And... Um, we're all going to get a rude lesson. I, I'm out of the country. I'm not, and I have no intention of coming back. And I, I, and honestly, I told Charlie, and I told Charlie this when I, ever since I got here, I've been trying to get him to come here because I knew, I know Charlie good enough, well enough to know that he would, this kind of environment would suit him very well. And he came here and fuck if he didn't just, he was here like a week and then left. He was going to stay for two weeks and then he left and he's coming back Sunday or Monday and, uh, and he's moving here. It agrees with him that much. And there's, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain more of that on my Patreon. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, say anything publicly about anything. We're not doing anything illegal or immoral or anything like that. But I promise you that uh, if you like saving money, uh, well, if um, uh, subscribe to my Patreon.
It's only a dollar. You can sign up for a fucking dollar. And if you've read me for however long and we've been friends for however long or you followed me for however long, I think I'm worth at least a dollar a fucking month. And, uh, and I'll open door. I'll, I'll open some other doors uh, for you that you that I didn't know were available. That Charlie's opened my eyes to, and uh, he's got a product that is really, really awesome. Especially, I, I just I, I'm not gonna say anything more about it. I will on Patreon because I don't want to. Uh, whatever was going on, uh, they, Facebook just keeps suspending me for mysterious reasons. I'm suspended now. I can't, uh, answer any of your, if you make a comment, I can't answer any of your comments. Why? I don't know. Facebook won't tell me. I'm meta verified. I tried to find out what I did. What's the violation? And they don't tell you anything. It's all a scam. Meta verified does absolutely zero for you. Don't pay for it. I do. I'm going to cancel it uh, because they don't do anything. Now, it, sometimes it helps me to yell at these uh, people that I know that are working for them, but it's not, uh, it's not worth, it's not worth it. In Thailand, I pay $6. In the United States, on one account, I pay $6. This one, I pay $6. And the Tom Clay account, I pay $15. And uh, I just wish Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg wasn't a, a moron. And uh, these people that are billionaires keep thinking that they're so smart. He, uh, who was, oh, Elon Musk said of McKenzie, uh, uh, Bezos, Bezos, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, he said, She's doing so much harm, giving so much money away. You know what she did? She gave twice as much money away. That's a woman I would like to shake hands with and thank her, you know, kiss her hand or something. She, that, that woman has really got her, her shit together. And uh, if we're going to get our shit together, you've got two years. You've got two years to get your shit together. I'm going to do whatever I can to try to get as many people's shit together because I don't want you to be a bunch of fucking sheep. We need wolves. I know how to fight. I know how to fight these bastards. If, if I knew anybody that was uh, wealthy, I could absolutely gut Rand Paul. If I had the money when uh, the last guy ran against Rand Paul, I could have absolutely slaughtered him if I had just... I think a billboard, just just with a few billboards, just with a few billboards, I could have absolutely do it. Because uh, Rand Paul, his rug, nobody can withstand the assault of humor. And uh, Rand Paul is just a terrible human being. Just like John Thune is, he's sitting there, well, uh, if Chuck Schumer thought, thinks we're gonna sit around and let him appoint all of these liberal judges, well, you sons of bitches did the same goddamn thing. Uh, when last time it happened to you, didn't you? But we, we all forget that. And, uh, wolves don't trouble themselves with thoughts of sheep. And it's time to, for us, uh, to get a little more serious about, uh, politics. Because you're going to find out the consequences of being passive aggressive with it and saying, well, I... Can you believe that Thomas didn't vote? Can you believe that, you know, he does, he would say something bad about Joe Biden? Oh my God, let me cl clutch my pearls. Now, if you want to learn, I'll show you. I'll teach you how to be a fucking warrior and how to fight these bastards. But you're going to have to do one thing. You're going to have to start being honest with yourself. And you're going to have to subscribe to my Patreon because I'm not going to, I'm not going to, Go through all the shit that I'm going through with fucking Zuckerberg getting suspending me for no reason and never telling me what I've fucking done. I'm not going to keep doing that shit 
and put up with all the torment from trolls that I get. Uh, if they want to come fuck with me, then they can pay a dollar and uh, get air locked in. But for free anymore, I'm not going to do it. And and that kind of defeats the purpose. I understand that uh, a lot, actually, because everything, all of the, in, anything worth reading is, is some is most of it is hidden behind paywalls but if you are one of these idiots that's there are ways around paywalls there are ridiculously easy ways to get around paywalls uh, if you want to get around a paywall all you have to do is when you get up on the top of it it'll say HTTP slash slash colon Okay, and then there'll be a series of four letters. Those four letters following it, all you have to do is delete those things, and it'll get rid of the paywall. So if you didn't know that, there's a hack for you, and you can get right around it. Now, I'm not ever going to read the New York Times, and I think uh, uh, people who subscribe to the New York Times have... Um, very low morals, especially with their uh, beheaded babies uh, stories and their Hamas rape uh, concoctions. And that's part of the problem. MSNBC is part of the problem. CNN's part of the problem. And the reason why Morning Joe went down to uh, suck Trump's ass is because his ratings aren't doing so good. And he needs to pay a consequence, uh, a heavy one for going down there and kissing his ass. And you are the consequence. You can turn him off. And on Patreon, this thing, this product that I'm telling you about that we're gonna ha be coming out with, it's, uh, it'll show a consequence. And because there's no, it has to do with television. And uh, you'll like it. I guarantee you, you'll like it. But uh, anyway, uh, and the re you'll understand why I'm trying to push my Patreon so much because uh, when I reveal this shit, because in Thailand there's a a lot of thing. There's a lot of laws that don't exist here that exist in the United States. And that's another thing that we need to do. I mean, I wrote a piece on Patreon about, uh, yesterday about, um, the police officers in Clearview, Utah, who, uh, saw a mentally retarded man He's a Special Olympian, a medalist and a Special Olympian. And he likes to go out to a bar and sing karaoke. And all he had done was gone, sung karaoke, and then he came back on the bus. He can't drive, can't do anything, and he was walking back to his house. And this cop was so fucking dumb, so ignorant of the law, he didn't even know what jaywalking was. He just created and concocted it. So when this special Olympian crossed the street, this cop tried to arrest him for jaywalking. You should watch that video. It's on uh, the Civil Rights Attorney Law Channel. John Bryan is his name. He's in West Virginia. And this cop beats this, this uh, mentally disabled kid up. Uh, he was he's not a kid, he's in his 40s or whatever. But um, this is the thing about the United States, you know, and this is part of, part of the problem that I wish I could awaken you all to because you all think the police are good. Well, the more police, the safer we are. No, the more unsafe you are because the police are really the criminals. And me even saying that, I know it's difficult for you to listen to, and you think, oh, well, Thomas is being a little hyperbolic. No, I have experience with hundreds of these sons of bitches, and you don't understand the nature of the people that seek out jobs like that. And uh, they're not good people. 
people that want to punish and harm other people and stick them in a cage without uh, thinking about it and have no consequences because they have uh, qualified immunity in almost all cases except in Colorado and New Mexico right now. Well, who passed all that shit? Republicans. Because Republicans want to live in a theocratic fascist state. So they keep coming up with shit like jaywalking. And this cop didn't even know what jaywalking was. There was no light anywhere around. Jaywalking is when you are within 500 feet of a crosswalk in every state in the union. And this this uh, mentally disabled uh, guy just crossed over to his apartment. He was just trying to get back. And this cop beat the shit out of him for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Didn't care. Didn't say, I'm sorry. And then his scumbag... Uh, sergeant came in and one of the guy, the mentally dis, I hate saying the R word, men, the guy was retarded, but uh, one of his friends showed up and told the police what was actually going on. And so they said, well, in this case, you were acting suspicious and you were walking. They didn't say, I'm sorry, I fucked up because police can't ever do that. Why? Because they're psychopaths, they're sociopaths, they're the worst fucking human beings uh, there are. And I know there's one person I know that's got a son-in-law that they think the war that's not a monster, and they are. All of them are. And uh, it's like trying to say, well, there were good Nazis, Thomas. That's what you're saying to me when you're saying it. It's not that they come in this way. It, they are trained to be this way. And not only that, they're trained to be fucking assholes. And we pay the United States. Our states pay these IDF uh, assholes, Israeli Defense Forces, to come over and give lectures to uh, police officers on the better techniques to use violence against people. And uh, we need to work on that. And we can't work on that unless we're honest with each other. And I'm always honest with you all. I know there's sometimes I don't talk about certain things, but especially Israel. You think it Janine doesn't have a lot to say? She's got tons of shit to say. And she's a fucking brilliant wo woman and that has a lot to say about it. But she can't say anything because you all are... Uh, trained not to respond to stuff like that, and you don't want to think that your country's evil or that you're part of the problem, but you are. You are. That's why we got our asses kicked. And uh, until we start being honest with ourselves, we're going to keep getting our asses kicked because the dumbasses have their shit together. They show up on election. And this shit of you can see a bright light in, of hope in the sky. People don't want to hear that shit. They want a bright light uh, that's down here on earth, not up in the sky when they're in a voting booth, Kamala. And of course, she doesn't understand that. But anyway, I'm going to uh, go get in my fabulous bed, see if I can't find a better mount for my television. I like my television all right. I've been tor tormenting Lily. I'm, I feel terrible because I've had the temperature too low and she's too cold. And I've, the air conditioning is just so good here. I really like it. But anyway, I'm willing to get through these two years with uh, all of you. But... Uh, I want you all the next time to be trained warriors so that you can train others and not be <clears throat> idle passerbys in your life where you've spent your entire life being uh, passive. I want active people that are ready to do battle against the forces of evil. And the reason why I left the United States is when I saw those fuckers in Charlottesville, I know what happens to people exactly like me when we start mouthing off to the fucking Nazis. And I wish uh, there were 
some billionaire billionaire out there I could solve a lot of our problems very quickly uh, if I had that kind of money but I don't so all I can do is try to train as many people as many other fighters as I can so that we don't wake up and get our asses kicked by 10 million fucking votes by a 34 count convict, convicted felon I mean it's a we should all be ashamed of it, especially Kamala, Joe, anybody, Ron Klain, any of these sons of bitches that were help running her campaign. It was an absolute fucking dog shit uh, campaign. Dog shit. We would have done, we we would have gotten more votes if we'd run a pigeon. And that's the truth. We don't like it, but. Except the fact that misogyny is a real thing in the United States. Why is misogyny a and racism a real thing in the United States? Why? Because of religion. Because of religion. Women are supposed to remain silent to men. You know, you're supposed to shut your mouth, women. You're not supposed to speak up in church. And everybody knows black people are the children of Lot. And Lot's uh, uh, children are were God punished them to be black and to be slaves for their whole lives. That's the kind of dumb shit that comes with your religion. When you're trying to hedge your bets, well, I just want to get up to heaven and see mom and pa. And fucking idiots. Grow up. It's the first thing you can do. Get a book on dissecting your own personality and work on that for a little bit. It's hard, damn hard work, and I don't expect two of you all to do it, but I'm willing to go through this shit with you all and improve your lives a little bit if you want to join my Patreon because that thing that when Charlie gets here, we'll start setting that up. It's going to be, it, it's super awesome. I already have it so I can testify. But uh, when we get that going, you'll like it. You'll see. I'm going to go in now and... and I don't know if I'm going to write anything tonight. I'm going to try to uh, not kill myself doing shit every day, but I'm a compulsive writer, so I don't know. I'm not going to work for fucking Zuckerberg anymore. I'm not doing that shit. So my Patreon's a dollar. If you think I'm worth a dollar, go join it. The link is on my profile. It's Patreon Thomas Clay or Thomas Clay Jr. I can't remember. It's one of those things. And uh, <clears throat> when you see this thing that me and Charlie are coming up with, you'll be like, Ooh, that, I'd like to have some of that. I guarantee it. Guar it I guarantee it. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow, fam.